Megan Clemente, and this is MAC Weekly. We've already reached mid-October, and there's still four MAC teams with five or more wins. Impressive. But before we look ahead to Week 8, let's check out the outstanding play from this past weekend. Ohio hosted Akron with its unbeaten streak on the line. The Bobcats continue to play aggressive football. Watch this. The reverse and Landon Smith pulls up to pass and quarterback Tyler Tettleton is wide open. Touchdown and it's a quick 7-0 lead. Before the first quarter ended, Tettleton was back to a more familiar role. He throws the touchdown pass. With this play, Tettleton becomes the Bobcats' all-time leader in passing touchdowns at 40. But Akron was thinking upset. Dalton Williams had nearly 300 yards passing and four touchdowns. This one narrowed the deficit to 20 to 14. Tettleton's second touchdown pass has Troy Hill on the receiving end. That made it 27-14. Ohio had 252 yards rushing, Bo Blankenship with 108, and Ryan Boykin with 96 and this touchdown. The Bobcats win 34-28. They are 7-0, continuing the best start since 1968, and they've cracked the AP Top 25 at number 25. Eastern Michigan hosted Toledo. And David Flewellen had a pair of touchdown runs in the second quarter, and the Rockets led 21-10 at halftime. But that's when it got fun. Bronson Hill breaks loose, and he sprints 47 yards for the touchdown to narrow the gap 21-17. However, that didn't last long. Bernard Reedy takes the ensuing kickoff at the 11, looks for a hole, makes a cut, and look out. 45-50, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20. 15-10-5, touchdown, Bernard Reedy. Three plays into the Eastern Michigan drive. Hill bursts right up the middle. 58 yards later, he's in the end zone. It's now 28-24. 13 seconds later, Terrence Owens to Reedy, who had a career-high 11 catches and a school record, 237 yards receiving. Touchdown, and it's 35-24. In a 1 minute and 51 second stretch in the period, the teams combined for five touchdowns. This time, it's Hill again. He had a career high 283 yards and a school record for rushing touchdowns. The teams also combined for eight touchdowns in the third quarter. Owens, who had a career high 401 yards passing, goes to Reedy again for the score. Reedy had a school record 407 all purpose yards as the Rockets led 49 37 going to the fourth quarter. What a game! The teams combined for 99 points. They also had 1,279 yards of total offense. That's the third most in MAC history. When time finally expired, Toledo had outscored Eastern Michigan 52 to 47. Northern Illinois hosted Buffalo, and this was all Huskies. Jordan Lynch had 129 yards rushing and two second-quarter touchdowns to take a 28-3 lead at halftime. Martel Moore had eight catches for 133 yards and this touchdown. And check out the great effort to get to the end zone. Northern Illinois wins 45-3, its 19th straight win at Husky Stadium and 11th consecutive conference victory. Western Michigan played at Ball State and Jawan Edwards makes it a great start for the Cardinals with an 11-yard touchdown. But the Broncos led 21-10 at halftime as Brian Fields rushed for 96 yards and this touchdown. Third quarter, and here's Edwards again. He had 138 yards rushing, but the Cards still trailed 21-17. But when Keith Wenning fired this touchdown pass to Jameel Smith, it's 24-17. With 50 seconds to play, it looked like a Ball State win. Enter Andrew Holdman with a 52-yard field goal. It's good, and we're headed for overtime. In OT, Edwards scores the winning touchdown, his third of the game, 30-24, Ball State wins. Miami traveled to Bowling Green, and the Falcons' Anthon Samuel rushed for a career-high 171 yards. But his touchdown came on this reception, and it gives them a 17-6 lead at halftime. Matt Schills threw for 235 yards and two touchdowns. This one to Chris Gallen made it 24-12. Then the Falcons' defense puts the game away. Boo Boo Gates gets the interception. He goes 37 yards for the score. Bowling Green beats Miami at home for the first time since 1997. The final, 37 to 12. Dre Archer continues to amaze as Kent State played at Army. He rushed for a career high 222 yards. The Golden Flashes go on to win 31-17. And in the Friday night game, Central Michigan fell behind Navy early. Quarterback Ryan Ratcliffe found Titus Davis with a 29-yard touchdown pass, but that's all the offense Central Michigan can muster. The Chippewas fall to Navy 31-13. 
Here are the players of the week from the East Division. Here are the players honored from the West. On to Week 8, and there are a couple of Big East teams playing at max schools. Pittsburgh plays at Buffalo, while unbeaten Cincinnati goes to Toledo to play the 6-1 Rockets in what should be a great game. Conference action kicks off at noon as Northern Illinois puts its 6-1 record on the line at Akron, while UMass hosts Bowling Green. Mid-afternoon games find what could be another shootout. Western Michigan plays at 5-1 Kent State. The last conference game of the week has Central Michigan entertaining Ball State. One other non-conference contest, Army plays at Eastern Michigan. Ohio takes its 7-0 record into a bye week, and Miami is also off this weekend. I'm Megan Clemente, and this is Mac Weekly.